hey what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button join the growing family today i want to talk about the trauma of being hospitalized under the mental health act First of all, what is the Mental Health Act? The Mental Health Act is a piece of legal documentation and powers where you, they can detain a person who has a mental health condition for either assessment, treatment. Personally, I've been detained under Section 136, 52, 135, Section 2, Section 3. Car alarm is doing my absolute head in. I've got a migraine as well, so please bear with me in this video. So, why is the mental health act traumatising? That's the question I'm going to answer in this. For me, it's traumatic because you lose all your rights, basically. You don't get a choice in the matter. Ah, oh, relaxing. <laughs> this is the best money I've ever spent. <laughs> Mine is getting my new camera. So, anyway. Why is it traumatising? It's traumatising because you lose all your rights. You're not treated like a human being. You're treated like you're a caged animal. You have no control over what's going on. You can't refuse medication. You just have to take it or they inject it. <coughs> it's just very dehumanising, the way you're treated. And honestly, it's just... You're being held captive. The thing I remember is I got really worked up trying to get out of the ward because I was getting so stressed by everything going on. And I was hearing voices telling me to leave. That I actually managed to get out the first door. It was locked, so I was just in the middle. And for that I got injected with Lorazepam and Haloperidol. Which knocked me out cold for like six hours. <laughs> I don't know, it's just... It's such a hard thing to go through. The first time I heard the words Leo detaining you under section 2 of the Mental Health Act was the worst day of my life. Because I'd never been in a hospital. I didn't think anything was wrong. And I got admitted to an abusive ward. But there was no escape from me. I couldn't discharge myself because I was under section and I was a minor. As someone who's been detained under the mental health act a fair amount of times, I can say that each time it was just as traumatic as the other. And honestly, sometimes it just wasn't fair. The longest I've been kept in hospital was a year. I lost a year of my life. And honestly, I'll never get that time back. And what gets to me is they over medicated me because I was easier to control and I was sedated. Fucking siren. But like yeah, I will never get back. I remember on my birthday I wasn't that steady on my feet because of all the medication. My grandma had to hold me hold me my one arm and my sister had the other arm. Helping me walk. I, got, I had leave on my birthday and my family came down to see me because the hospital I was in was in Titust, which is in Sussex. And my family live in Shropshire, so it's quite a way to try it. They bought their doggies. I can't remember a lot of what we did. So that's fun. When I was made informal, I immediately tried to discharge myself because I couldn't stand how they were treating me. I got put back on a section. Well, section 5-2. Then I was assessed again and I was put back onto a section 3. It was the worst time in my life. The use of the mental health act is definitely overused. Some people get sectioned that don't need to be sectioned. And honestly, it's just really upsetting, really, when you think about it. Because it, it's there for a reason. It's to give treatment 
to those with a mental health condition that don't recognise it as the condition. They just think it's normal. Or someone who's suicidal it stops them from ending their life. Most of them try and then there's there is the cases where there's actual suicides on wards. That's a whole other video. But genuinely I feel like it's just used too much. The trauma that the mental health act has caused me is stuff I'll never recover from. Mainly because of all the abuse that goes on in psych wards and if you are interested in what abuse goes on in psych wards I did a two part video which I'll link up there about how psych wards have mistreated me. But yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this subject. So let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Peace.